So we're going to just talk about a little bit of settings um, with the welder. Um, when you're welding with silver, um, we generally have a little bit higher energy. Um, now that being said, we're not going to be upwards you know, of 130, 150 watt seconds. We're going to be fairly low on as far as the bar is concerned on the welder. Um, but we will be a little bit higher than when working with something like uh, stainless steel or gold. With our agitation feature that we have, we have none, sloped or sustained. When working with silver and sometimes gold, no agitation is good, so we keep it on none. When working with stainless steel, we like having sloped agitation. That's just a basic way of adding extra energy into the weld, helps smooth the weld out a little bit. Um, gold is good to have sloped agitation sometimes as well. Sustained will be rarely used unless you're working with a difficult metal uh, such as palladium. Um, but agitation, you're typically going to use none or sloped. Um, there are two ways to adjust the energy on the screen. You can simply touch here, or you can slide it. Or, if you wish for a little bit more finer adjustment, you can use the positive here to go up in increments of decimals, or the negative here to go down. So, touch here, or the positive or negative. We're going to talk about the time that we have on the welder, the weld time or duration. There's really only going to be one time that you ever uh, change that. That will be if you're working with gold. Um, so let's say our energy is at 17 watt seconds. Our weld time will be 15 milliseconds. With gold, sometimes it is advantageous to lower that to about half. So we'll go to about seven and hit OK. Now that will change everything with the welder, the way it performs. Um, for gold, it's good to have. Um, but when we go up into our higher ranges, it's going to, to be about half as well. So typically, uh, we have two options for our weld time. We either have 60 milliseconds, which is what in the upper range of our energy, and then in our lower range of the energy, we have 15 milliseconds. So if you adjust it in the lower end, it will also change it in the upper end as well. So if we take this and go to 30, and hit OK, so we're at half, if we go down to our lower end, it will change it in the lower end as well. So again, the only time you'll really use that is if working with gold. If you're having difficulty welding gold, you can lower your weld time. Now keep in mind, if you go back to other metals such as silver or stainless steel, um, you do want to raise that back up to the maximum so that we get the longest discharge of weld so that we have a smoother weld puddle with other metals. So if you're welding and you find that you're getting inconsistent welds or something that is the welder's performing um, not like it should, there's a simple thing you can do with the welder. Go into settings here. You just click settings. Go into system. Um, it will be in one of these four tabs. Go to system and there's a button here that says restore all defaults. Go ahead and touch that and then hit OK. That will reset the setting, the welder, to factory default settings and it will re reset everything on your welder so that you are back to square one with your settings and then you can hit OK and then go back to adjusting your energy and welding.